And welcome to my YouTube. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion painting, which is this particular painting, which is the older, more mature Mona Lisa with an extremely handsome man. And the Mona Lisa of the younger Mona Lisa so happens to have gotten grown up. This is when she was younger. This is when she was older. And uh, obviously, you know, when you live, you get older and you change. Uh, and uh, she changed to be a beautiful woman. Now I'm going to show you a particular area in the Mona that so happens to be right here. Okay, and when I go to blow it up for you, you'll see that icon, which is a skull. And then when I get it large for you, it comes out to be this and this particular one is actually the same whoops the same image that is in my man's hat area right there and it is everywhere else I've found it in many different spots but that's one particular area in which it is I just want to uh, let you know that's what we're working on for right now. now I've gotten probably 6,000 items in which I've showed you the exact same fits as what we've been showing. So uh, let's see if we can follow along. And I thank you for your patience. I'm still learning a lot and uh, uh, going for uh, um, trying to figure out how to teach you properly. Now this is the icon again that's in my painting. It so happens to be in the hat. This, when it's super, super blown up, which is probably about the size of uh, two grains of sand, and you grow, blow this all up, it comes out to look kind of like a uh, an owl, a, a hawk, uh, an eagle, of uh, uh, some of sort. But if you really, really look at it in many different ways, it's people, and it's also a lion and other little doodads that in and sign language. Now, it actually spells out L with an opening here and a V and a backwards E with a happy cartoon face with an open mouth of like, uh, kind of like a, a dolphin or a person being comical or whatever he wanted to make his, uh, his little image of. This is actually like of a person with his hands and an X. And this actually is like a K and with a Y and a Y and a Y and another Y. Y, 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 and there's like a circle with a D and something like a uh, top hat or a person. But let me show you, you can actually, if you really look at just this particular image here, you can see an eye and an eye with a nose and a mouth and a beard, aiming kind of somewhat at number uh, 738 o'clock. You also see another eye, an eye, a dot, and a mouth, and this is representing somewhat of a beard, and he's also aiming the same area as his buddy. Now, um, I want you to see that um, if you look at uh, this particular painting uh, that is in there, it is actually the same as this particular painting here. Now. The way it's going to come out for you to understand, there's actually a, a K look here, and then there's a Y, and then a Y, and, and some other Ys, and you'll see the Ys, and you'll actually see the um, uh, backwards, well, it's not backwards, uh, the uh, main L that writes backwards, which is the way I should have said it, and an O, and, a, and then a V, and then a backwards E. And then you'll see that funny face looking thing that actually comes out in multicolors to give that opening as you see. Now when I go to overlay it, you're going to see that to be more true because it gives you a, a penetrated transfer look to where you'll be able to see. Now you line up just exactly like that and I hold this funny looking little dolphin look right there with the bottom of the chin of the mouth and you'll see the bottom of the opening of the chin of the mouth and how it circles around kind of like a kidney bean. Then I put it right back on the kidney bean type dolphin and then you can see that there's an opening here that goes on with a line that comes down with like a backwards E. Okay and then you can see you can see how that is a E. Then you can see in here the V that runs. He leaves one little dot 
missing in here a little because he's hiding or I wasn't able to pull it but you can see the main lines how they would get, go if we were kids in connecting the dots and then again there's an opening in between here and here which would be the black O that he has and then you have the backwards L or not backwards L again see I'm making a mistake it's a L right and backwards then you put this back up and you line it up and get it back into the same place it gets not only that if you follow this line and around and don't count this particular area you'll see that this outline goes kind of like a heart-shaped face here it goes kind of like a heart-shaped face okay and when you line those two up they fit exactly identical so all these words all these letters k's y's l v e everything within the mona lisa is the same exact hidden images that are in my painting in his hat that nobody would ever see took over seven years to come up with this and it's absolutely 100 percent not been altered cheated lied or anything i'm a very religious man so yes i am very excited about the find and i'm getting better and better and easier <clears throat> forgive me i'm saying easier because it's not easy but it's getting to where I have a little bit of a system of knowing how to <clears throat> get into his works. Uh, more so that's well hidden. And uh, if I was really good on connecting dots, I would be able to read. Because if you really look, you can see how he cheats. This is the Mona. The, the, the Mona the world knows. But if you really look, that's a heart. You see it? A heart. Okay. He's always writing his love one way, either by symbol or writing it out. He's, he's truly, truly in love with the Mona. He never stopped loving the Mona. He did it when she was younger and he did it when she was older. And it's, it's, it's really amazing that the, somebody found their love that deep. This is the older more mature Mona Lisa when she grew up if you can see that right there and that's that's the beauty queen okay that is the woman this painting belongs in a museum next to the Mona look at the man an extremely hot looking Italian man look at that cookie duster he's got teacher used to say hey, you got a cookie duster what's that mustache when we were younger and wanted to try to grow our mustache well, man, he says, yeah, it's a cookie duster. Okay, and then you can see here, when I go to tilt it into here, try to get it back level, you can see that that is a younger Mona Lisa. That's not an old lady, excuse me, ladies, but that's not a uh, older woman. That is in her um, young teens, in my opinion. Um, so, you know, I, I'd be shocked if she's 20. I think she's more like 17. Okay, so anyway, I, uh, I've gotten so many different types of uh, 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 information out of here that I've never YouTubed. And it, the information that's in this, I've seen his will, I've seen uh, his lovers, I've seen some loving acts, I've seen all kinds of little things in which are um, uh, expressive into his feelings of love, of art, of physical, and 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 geniuses and believe it or not these 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 stars these stars are actually stories of songs and writing and diaries and you can take this painting and you can flip it at any degree and it multiplies in the change of his words and it changes also in what he's hiding in his art because uh they're in different depth this may be one hundredth of a depth of what is in there so in other words the same images which we're looking at tomorrow excuse me i'll be showing you the same image again with other little hidden in the windows okay that i found because each time you go deeper each time you examine it each time you can look at the same image for three solid months 10 hours a day and there will be totally if you really do your work and homework uh there there would be something to surprise you every day this guy is still being talked about uh, and i um uh, he left a mark on this earth um 
uh, like uh, some of the all stars and some of the passings in which we've heard about, and we feel for the for the ones who uh, uh, really care. Um, I really care, and I, uh, I need some assistance of, of uh, financial, but um, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'd rather live underneath the bridge and work on my computer and do this if that's what it takes because I'm going to tell you my heart, my life, my love, and my understanding and, and my desire is is to put out uh, the information that's in this. Um, I would like the le legacy to, to continue. Um, that's why I made a book called Passion of Love. Uh, I didn't know how to promote it. I did put the book out and I only did it for the passion of love. Anyway, I want to say, hey, God bless the whole world the universe and the heavens and you guys please have a great safe night thank you and, and excuse me for not saying this again thank you for subscribing and giving me a thumbs up amen